All right, guys, before we start, do you feel like something to eat? Maybe a sandwich? Just eight, actually. Yeah, I'm not really very hungry. Oh, what's on the company, of course? I am feeling a bit peckish, though. Maybe a little meal would be good. All right. Sandwich. I will get the smoked chicken, ham, and cheese. Yeah, I think, I think I'll get the smoked chicken, ham, and tomato. Yeah, I'm just gonna get the ham and cheese. Do you, do you think maybe I could have your helping of smoked chicken then? Can I have your extra filling? What the fuck? That's strike two, Harley. Well, first of all, guys, I'd just like to say congratulations on the script. Some great stuff in there. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, well, we've got a little bit of bad news, however. Uh, we've been shopping it around a little bit and not much interest. Well, how much is not much? None. Whoa. Okay. It's, it's your acting. It's pretty average. Average? Yeah, but uh, don't worry about that. We'll surround you with good actors and then people hopefully won't notice. But when you say average, uh, do you mean like... Above average or below? Below. Subpar. Well, yeah, but if you, if you had to choose... Between. Who? Well, let me put it this way. It's like choosing between two things you absolutely hate. Okay. Okay, we're, um... We're being honest. Yeah, that's good. You guys aren't offended? <laughs> this is bullshit! No. No. <laughs> no. We're not going to... No. We're big boys. Big boys. Oh, good. Well, first on the agenda then. A lot of the scripts just aren't really that funny. Uh, well, see, the thing is, Mr Ford, that we, we kind of like that dry sort of humour. Yeah. No, guys, guys, no. You want to wet, all right? And the sitcom is like a woman. And you want it to be oozing through her panties. Well, how do we do that? Well, for instance, your character Johnny. Jeff. Jeff, right. Jeff. Jeff with a J? Got it. What if this Jeff was a hermaphrodite? A hermaphrodite? Yeah, you know, he's got both a penis and a vagina. Why? Well, that way he could date both women and men. Well, think about the potential. It's a comedy goldmine. Um... We always imagine it just uh, uh, some guys um, with only a penis uh, just hitting on women. Yeah, but this way you double your potential audience. You see, the woman will identify with the vagina. That's the beauty of it. Now, I'm not going to have any trouble from you guys on this, am I? I'm not going to have to bring someone else in on the rewrites. Interesting idea. A penis? And a vagina. We cater to both audiences. We bring them together. It's like we can have a cock and eat it too. Yes, sometimes you have to suffer for your art. It's okay, I get it. You know, Trevor had a lot of good suggestions. It's like that bad dream we all have, where you're being sodomized by that famous porn star. Was it? Paul Holmes, and you think, any minute now I'm going to wake up. Any minute now. But you don't wake up. You just keep on getting fucked. How's it, mate? You in there? What? Go away, I'm busy! Well, you don't want to hear the good news? Not really! Well, that's too bad, because I just got off the phone from Trevor Ford. Guess how much we're being paid for the rewrites? How much? Two G's. Two grand? That's right. Just for those two scripts? It's only once, so... Easy money, my friend. Well, that's actually pretty good. Yeah. 
So, there's a little concern that we won't make the rewrite deadline. <laughs> I laugh at that. We're fucked. We've got nothing. Let me show you something from a quote-unquote inexperienced screenwriter. Creating unforgettable characters. Linda Seeger. Character and viewpoint. Orson Scott Card. 101 habits of highly successful screenwriters. That's like a who's who of A-list screenwriters. And I've got all this knowledge. Right here. It's called a PhD in screenwriting ology. That's a real degree. I got it. Did he show you the books? He did, didn't he? He hasn't read them. Hello? Alice, it's Guy and Harley. Oh, hey guys. How's those rewrites coming? They are coming along, let me tell you that much. Have you written anything yet? Alice, what sort of a question is that to be asking us? You haven't then. Can you believe this? Actually, Alice, we were just wondering about the auditions. You know, anything coming up? Well, actually, lots of things going on at the moment, yeah. Well, that's good. That's great. But for you specifically, no. No, nothing. Well, we're still on that blacklist then. Yep. So no calls? Oh, actually, um, yeah, I did get one. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> it was video easy. Um, hang on, I wrote down the message. They want Lord of the Ass ring... Edward Penis Hands and Come Loving Bitches Need Sperm. They're all two weeks overdue. This. Why did you use my cell as your contact number? I'm not your fucking PA. Uh, well, it's just that they wanted a, f a friend's number and I don't really have any friends. Holly, just please return your weird pornos on time. I'm getting sick of this. It's creepy. Say, so, uh... Alice, um, seeing as we're on the subject, um, how do you get a woman wet? Like, Alice? She hung up on us. Do you think I should have told her I was talking about, um, jokes on the show? Yes.